Hey everyone, it's been a while since President Trump fired anyone and you know that's supposed to be his catchphrase after all, so this week he decided to get rid of Rex Tillerson, the former Texan Exxon exec. The whole thing's been described as unprecedented really, in so much as the former oil executive managed to stay in the role for over a year before being shown the door, but the two never really got on and to me that always seemed a real shame because between Rex's petrochemical background and Trump's famously shoddy disregard for building contractors, the pair could have easily, literally, have gotten on like a house on fire. I always imagined that Rex just saw the whole job as a networking opportunity until oil giant Saudi Aramco finally organised its New York share listing and offered him a job up there, but that's all been supposedly delayed until next year at the earliest, if it happens at all. So he decided to stop with the niceties. And, you know, I say niceties, he allegedly called the president, quote, an effing moron to his face during a discussion last summer about whether the US should instigate a nuclear escalation or not. We've all been there, I suppose. Though. You know, you're in a brainstorming meeting at work and there's a no bad ideas rule, then someone suggests starting a nuclear war with North Korea and suddenly human resources are involved and someone's fired. Anyway, for now, it will likely blow over when H.R. McMaster leaves, as is supposed to be happening in the next week or two, at least according to the Washington Post. And I should really have maybe added a spoiler alert there, but I guess a lot of viewers have already read the book anyway. And actually, no, that's Game of Thrones I'm thinking of, sorry. Um, for now, though, Trump has appointed CIA Director Mike Pompeo to the Secretary of State job, and so the game continues, I guess. I'm sure Vladimir Putin must be quaking in his boots, you know, boots that many suspect contain a concealed knife like in that James Bond film from Russia with Love. Um, finally, talking about people departing, there was a bit of sad science news this week as Stephen Hawking passed away. I'd like to imagine it when asked, Jeremy Corbyn would have responded by paying tributes to, quote, the greatest mind of our time, before adding, and that's why Diane Abbott will make a great home secretary, before admitting to having not read the news and not really understood what the heck was going on. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.